PC market still on fire. 2021 was good. 2022 uh, looks positive uh, as well. The media loves tragedy, Pat. You have a tweet that basically looked back to 2011. Bloomberg, or was it MIT, sorry, MIT uh, Technology Review. The personal computer is dead. I don't know, Pat. I feel like a broken record. I can't tell you how many times on this show I have basically said, you know, the the death of the PC was uh, <laughs> has been greatly overstated. I bring this out. I bring this out every year, and I'm going to annoy you for putting this up here. But but I have to uh, it'd be nice if I shared the slide first. Yeah, would you do uh, that? So, uh, look, you know, the market right now, and in general, though, you know, tragedy porn and negative headlines are just heavily embraced by our world. I don't know why we're so cynical as a society, but we are. This is absolutely wrong. It's as wrong as the idea right now that a half a point of interest rate increase is going to stop Microsoft from growing in the next several quarters. It's it's yeah. almost idiotic. But of course, it, it, it does manipulate things in the right direction. So, you know, sentiment's important. You know, we don't, you know, anyways, I, I, I won't do a market diatribe right now, but the Here's what's happening, Pat, right? Last year, we heard endless things, semiconductor shortage, semiconductor shortage, chip shortage. We increased our ability to produce chips by 20%, despite all the shutdowns, COVID, the the the, the ships at the ports. 20% more chips were produced last year than the year before. And, you know, so we were able to increase production. But what we haven't been able to fully appreciate is just how much demand is actually out there for devices. So... We saw in 21, Pat, and this is Cantalese data in the fourth quarter, you know, 341 million uh, shipments of PCs. That's up from 290 in 2020 and 249 in 2019. Um, Pat, I mean, you've got a massive uptick. We've we received almost 100 million increased shipment units um, in the course of two years. Um, you know, you're seeing strength in this space. You're seeing a Lenovo uh, rise to be the number one vendor in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, and, you know, in Apple fall into four, by the way. But you got Lenovo, HP, you got uh, Dell, Apple, and Acer. And I don't know, man. I, I, I just, it's almost like beating a dead horse. But I don't know how many times we have to tell the market the, the demand for PCs hasn't slowed. And, Listen, I, yeah. Go ahead. No, no. I mean, I, I. Here's what I understand. Uh, Ten years ago, PCs were boring. They were thick and chunky, and got three hours of battery life. And the iPad looked like the most amazing thing on the planet. It had an app store. It was thin. It got ten hours of battery life. Actually, using the thing, even more on on video, uh, and iPads were were increasing and PCs were declining. So and I think people said, hey, the PC is dead, like MIT Technology Review said. What they didn't quite think about is what the reaction of the PC industry was, and that was to essentially take the positive attributes of, of an iPad, which is 10 hours of battery life, um, touch screen with a app store um, and make it thin and then everybody jumped on it. So it was very easy for me to see what happened. In fact, uh, even Apple went on an apology tour. Uh, Tim Cook went on his apology tour four years ago and essentially apologized for what a terrible job that they had done in uh, with, with, with their Macs and they were doubling down on the investment. And I think we're seeing the fruits of that investment today with the new M1 processor, uh, the new designs uh, for those. And I think we're going to see some pretty cool stuff uh, in, in the future out there. And then COVID hit, right? And we realized, hey, uh, I can't do all this stuff on an iPad. Uh, I need a, either a notebook PC or I need a, uh, a Chromebook. And, and, and here we are. And the question is, next how long will that growth go? So I, I think that we will have a good year in, in 2022. First of all, uh, people couldn't get the notebooks. They couldn't get the PCs they needed in 2021. So you're going to see, you saw that demand pushed. 
I also believe as we go back to work, people will reassess the technology that they actually need at, at work. Um, consumer is more of a wild card, right? Because consumer market will follow uh, GNP and I'm not expecting any stimulus checks uh, anymore for people who still actually have a job and, and were able to double dip. So I think that's going to weigh on consumers. So it's going to be this uh, big and commercial, uh, but offset by um, some declines uh, in consumer. Yeah, and, and I, just a just a quick frisbee, Pat. I think what you're going to see is as work continues to not return to office, the demand for that higher end PC for work. But of course, those work crossover consumer pieces are are more and more common. More and more employees are going to need them. Yeah. And then, of course, education. You're going to see the the lower price, lightweight Chromebook style stuff still sell in volume because if uh, students are learning, they're learning on those kinds of devices. That's all it comes down to. I got a house full yeah. of 